624 right now. Well known comedian is stepping up to help museums that have been affected by the pandemic. Lauren Cook has more on John Oliver making a difference here in Baltimore in today's Good to Know. Thank you, Christian. Out of nearly 1,000 submissions, the American Visionary Art Museum has been selected to win John Oliver's last week tonight's National Museum Contest. It will be awarded a $10,000 grant to help its operations that were significantly impacted by the pandemic. That's not all. They'll also receive a matching donation for a nonprofit of their choice, which is the Maryland Food Bank. I called him actually the day before the story broke to let Carmen, the director of Maryland Food Bank, know that I had picked them and that they would be getting this 10000 from Mr. Oliver. And uh, more than that, they would get so much positive publicity for that need. So we're, we're thrilled uh, to partner and to benefit uh, another, another great nonprofit here in Baltimore that does such essential work. As a contest winner, the American Visionary Art Museum will have the opportunity to display three weird works of art selected by the Last Week Tonight host. The Cultural Enrichment Exhibit will run November 1st through the 22nd and will be an experience you don't want to miss. There are three paintings that are owned by Mr. Oliver that we're obligated to show. And one, I haven't met him, but it's an artist that lives up in York, Pennsylvania. So I'm hoping he's going to come down. Um, and it's a, a kind of amorous rats, you know. And uh, and then there's one of um, uh, what Wendy, you know, the talk show amazing host. And she's like kind of, it's a camp picture, some fan made of her eating a lamb chop, you know, go figure. And then there's kind of a more traditional um painting of, uh, of like ties, men's ties, and why he put these three together, I'll never know. Despite its small budget, the American Visionary Art Museum continues to top multiple lists of best national attractions. For more information on the museum and its upcoming John Oliver exhibit, go to WMAR2news.com.